so in this uh, part reproduction in animal we are continuing the topic with second part so starting from the reproduction process in uh, human being we yesterday we have studied about the uh, uh, in last video we have studied about male and female reproductive organs and the gamete or germ cell that are produced inside those organs so in male or in case of father the gamete is produced as a sperm and in case of female gamete produced called as a ova so now in the process called as a fertilization so what is a fertilization simply fertilization means the fusion of the gamete in this case in case of human that is fusion of sperm and ova so basically in sexual reproduction the most important process is fertilization takes place by the fusion of gamete that is sperm and the ova so male produces gamete called as a sperm and female produces gametes called as a ova these two gametes fusion to form a large cell called as a zygote so here is a diagram for the zygote here and the during the process of the fertilization one of the sperm from the male is approaches to the ovum and fuses with the ovum why i am saying one of the because after one sperm is fused the cell is uh, the ovum is covered by a special type of cell layer which prevent further sperm to contact it so here the sperm approaches to ovum and the fertilization process takes place and after the fertilization process as i told you that sperm has a nucleus also ovum has a nucleus and these two nucleus fuses to form a zygote so here we can represent as a, this is a female nucleus and this is a male uh, male germ cell nucleus these two fuses to form a new cell called as a zygote that means after the fertilization process a new type of cell is arrived that is called as a zygote now in uh, further section we will be discussing that what type of fertilization are present in human being or any other organism and animal now as i told you that fertilization is of two type internal fertilization and external fertilization so what is a internal fertilization as already told uh, fertilization is a fusion of gamete so fusion of gamete occurs or takes place inside the female body okay, whenever the fusion of gamete that is sperm and ova takes place inside the female body it is called as a internal fertilization whereas the fusion of the gametes takes place outside the body of female like in water or in any other uh, medium so in case the fusion takes place outside the female body it is called as a external fertilization and in case the fusion of gamete takes place inside the female body it is called as a internal fertilization for example internal fertilization most common examples are human cows dogs and in hens in external fertilization most common example is are frog fishes and star fishes and many more etc so here is the basic type of fertilization in next further part we will be discussing the now after the fertilization a special type of cell is produced we called as a zygote now zygote converted into the embryo and the development of embryo occurs so how does zygote converted into the embryo and it developed inside the uterus that will be discussed in the further section now after the fusion of the gamete that is called as a fertilization the formation of zygote occur now zygote start cell dividation that means the inside the zygote the cell divides and form a number of cells yani more number of cell and now zygote converted into the embryo so now we called as a embryo now embryo get embedded or inside the uterus wall and going to develop gradually the zygote uh, converted into the embryo now embryo convert, uh, continuously growing to develop and converted into the fetus now in further part we will tell about fetus
so how does the uh, this process takes place as i told you first the ovulation occurs that is ovary carrying a egg it releases the egg inside the oviduct now this process is called as a ovulation now ova or ovum travel inside the oviduct and here inside the oviduct the fertilization takes place and the fusion of the gamete occur after the fusion of the gamete zygote form zygote start to divide cell now first 1 to 2 cell 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 16 after the 16 cell stage the cell group divided into the two cell two type of group and now embryo start to embed inside the wall of the uterus so here is a representative diagram ovary oviduct and this is the part of the uterus where the embryo embed so here now maximize this diagram how does it takes place this is the whole wall of the uterus and the embryo developing inside the wall of the uterus and after some time the embryo develop inside the uterus and attaches to wall of the uterus that means embryo gain nutrition oxygen blood supply from the wall of the uterus and start to develop and gradually convert it into the fetus so how does it takes place we will discuss in further part now after the embedding of the embryo into the uterus wall now uh, fetus development of embryo in uterus inside the uterus takes place now ultimately the embryo converted into the fetus it is a small size uh, uh, baby so formation of the fetus now gradually the fetus developed so development of the fetus now fetus converted into the full grown fetus that is called as a full grown baby now the after the development completed the parturition or delivery of the newborn occur that means female give birth to a newborn baby so here is the complete process occur like this only in uh, further part we will be discuss uh, we will discuss about how animal give birth to new one means if they lay eggs or if they give birth to new born baby or they give eggs so in the further part we will discuss there are animals of two types some animals give lay down eggs and some animal give birth to newborn baby so what are the various types we will discuss so now the animals are maybe of two types they can be viviparous and they can be oviparous what are the viviparous animals so animals those give birth to the young ones that means when animal give birth to they are like young ones they called as a viviparous and when animals which lay down eggs that means when animal lay down eggs and after the egg hatches the new uh, young one developed from the egg so they were they are called as a oviparous now viviparous ani uh, animals example can be like human dogs cows elephant etc and some oviparous animals are like lizards birds snakes crocodile and turtles these can be classified as a oviparous animal some animals lay down uh, lay down egg of those size that can be seen by normal eyes like uh, birds and uh, ostrich turtle they can be observed very easily by your eyes but some and uh, they are example of oviparous but some animal also lay down eggs like human dog uh, cows but you can't see their eggs they are inside the animal's body so they are the example uh, they give birth to the new uh, new young ones that's why they called as a viviparous animal so these are the broader category uh, major category viviparous and oviparous animals now in case of some oviparous animal the formation of young ones to adults takes place from uh, takes place by the time duration so uh, initially egg lay downs egg hatches now young ones arrives 
now the young ones start to develop and after the complete development the young ones completed the formation and grown as a adults so in case of like for example in case of silkworm the egg lay downs the young ones called as a larva or caterpillar arrives now the caterpillar or larva converted to a more mature form called as a pupa now pupa converted or grows developed to form an adult another example in case of like frog firstly the egg lay downs now the egg hatches an early tadpole or larva it is a type of larva of the uh, frog early tadpole larva arrives now it developed and grow to form a late tadpole larva then late tadpole larva developed and to form a adult frog now again adult frog lay downs the egg and the cycle continues so in the whole process from egg to the development up to the adults in this complete process is called as a metamorphosis so from start with the egg now larva larva so other stages and ultimately the formation of the adult this complete process is called as a metamorphosis now this is the complete part in the sexual reproduction in the animal now in further section we will discuss other method of the reproduction that is called as a asexual reproduction is the method and the two process those are given in your book we will be discuss about them now in the method of asexual reproduction there are two methods that those are given in your books first method by the budding and the by binary fission so by binary fission mainly takes place in the single cell organism as a example amoeba you already studied about amoeba in chapter 8 so amoeba start single cell organism amoeba is a single cell organism it is start divide itself and form a two separate cell so this is type of a asexual reproduction called as a binary fission but in case of budding examples are hydra and some kind some type of yeast so in hydra the there is a diagram of hydra budding gives uh, given in your book so i am showing from the book so here in first stage the adult hydra start a small bud like structure in their body now the these bud start growing and ultimately it is converted into the another young uh, hydra and this young hydra detaches from the young uh, adult body and form a new hydra so here is a budding in hydra given in your book and in case of amoeba there is binary fission so initially the single cell organism amoeba here presents now the nucleus of the amoeba start divides and the form the two nucleus and now next step the cytoplasm divided into the two different cell and two amoeba or daughter amoeba present in the final stage so this is the binary fission in amoeba and here budding in hydra takes place so these are two method of asexual reproduction given in your book now this is the now the chapter 9 has completed that is reproduction in animal and there is a second part also completed so we have studied in this part the complete uh, sexual reproduction process start from fertilization development uh, conversion uh, of uh, fertilization after the formation of a uh, a zygote and zygote development from uh, to embryo embryo to fetus and after the fetus delivery or born of uh, birth of the new ones and also discuss about asexual reproduction methods budding and binary fission and also discuss about the oviparous and viviparous animal so this is the complete chapter 9 thank you